Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in knowing how to drive a man wild, stick around, because that's what I'm gonna be sharing in our episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and today I'm sharing with you how to make a man wild, feel wild about you, feel really increased desire and increased connection. Because here's the thing, if you want to connect with someone and have this amazing relationship that's super passionate and that stands the test of time, where the guy is not just engaged, but he's devotional towards you and he's not looking elsewhere to connect to someone else, there's a few things you can do to increase the level of wildness in your man's heart and have him feel more committed to you. And the first one is be more expressive with your body. When you express yourself with more openness, with more passion, with more generosity, your man gets to start feeling this intense emotion inside of him. So I'm not starting with the emotional stuff. I'm not starting with anything other than the most basic and animalistic side of him, which is his visual side. Men are incredibly visual because we are visual. We take information and energy and aliveness in with our eyes. And if you're the kind of woman who can express yourself in a way where he gets to feel more of who you are based on the way you move and the way you look at him and the way you smile, he starts feeling those intense feelings towards you that really start connecting with you. Now, that's not the only thing he needs. If the relationship starts, he's going to need more of that spontaneity and playfulness. So many people are in relationships where they start out great, they start out being playful, they start out being fun, and as soon as the relationship starts, something dies. Something is not kindled anymore. So if you really want to continue driving your man wild, you need to add to your life passion. You need to add to your life playfulness. You need to add the relationship playfulness to the point where you can be a kid again and play around and just be silly. Because if you can have that combination of being expressive and being silly, your man starts feeling more and more intensity towards you. The third thing that I'm gonna recommend for you is variety. And here's the thing. Just like a woman needs security, and she needs variety too, but a woman needs foremost to express her heart to a man, to express her inner desires, uh, to, to be vulnerable, she needs to feel safe. You need to feel safe. You need to feel secure. You need to feel like the guy really cares for you. As strong as your need for security is, is his need for variety. Okay, so if you just keep this in mind that just like you want to feel safe, he wants to feel something new and you're able to provide him with that in terms of conversation, in terms of when you have sex with him, when it's time, because it's at the beginning, it may not be time, but whenever you do have sex with him, making sure that you're being expressive and that you're trying new things, then he always gets the feeling that he has this intense sense of variety in his life is being met. The, the need for variety is met in his life, he doesn't have the need to look for it elsewhere. If the need for variety is not met in his life, he's gonna start looking for it somewhere else and that's something that's not good for you, it's not good for him either. Number four thing that can drive a man wild is being more generous with your appreciation. When you let a guy know what he's doing right, how he's, doing, how he's making you feel, how he's adding to your life, he starts feeling an intense sense of bonding, an intense emotional connection beyond the physical stuff that I'm describing right now, which is the visual and the aliveness and the passion, the emotional connection for a man comes in direct proportion to how much he feels he can serve you, how much he feels he can make you happy, how much you're letting him know that he's adding value to your life. So if you add the generosity piece to the other pieces that I'm giving you, he's gonna start feeling more and more wild for you. And the last one, very important, I'm putting it last because some women just do it first, is being able to clearly ask for what you want, letting him know how he can win, basically, not playing games, not being mysterious, just saying directly, like you would say to a guy friend, this is what I need, being able to express what you want so he knows how to fulfill your desires and he has a clear plan to win and also learning how to say no. When you say no and you express what you want and you do all the things that I'm telling you right now, saying no on the right moments, basically having a high standard so that when there's something that he's doing that is affecting you negatively, letting him know that he's going the wrong way about it or that he's hurting you or that there's a definitely no-no if he's trying to do something that jeopardizes a relationship. Because when he gets a chance to feel the value that you have and how certain you are about being able to, if he doesn't, uh, basically if he breaks a boundary of yours to actually separate from him, he understands that it's not just fun and alive and playful and you appreciate him, but that you have a lot of value. And he wants to feel very, very wild about someone who's fun and spontaneous and alive, but who also knows how to stand up for herself 
and how to put limits. So there you have it, how to drive a man wild, practice these five steps. If you find this is helpful, click like on this video, subscribe to my channel. Most important of all, if you do nothing else, on the description of this video, there's a link that I have that's gonna guide you to a three-step blueprint on how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. It's an amazing webinar full of insights that will help you to create the kind of relationship you want in a short amount of time. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it personally and look forward to connecting with you very, very soon. Mwah.